Hi, Bumblebees. Happy Fun Friday. Today's read aloud is a really fun story. It's one of my favorites. Take a look at the cover of today's story. What do you see? Do you know what this is called right here? It's a rope with clips hanging on it. That is called a clothesline. And a clothesline we use to hang clothes to dry. Today's story is called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do. So this is a really fun story. It's kind of like a game. I'm going to read you clues and I'm going to tell you what's hanging on the clothesline and you have to guess who it is and what their job is. So let's read together and let's play a little fun game together. It goes like this. Look at the clotheslines and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? What's a clue? A uniform and a cap. An invite for you. Big bag of letters. What job does she do? So what community helper is this? She wears a uniform. Can you say uniform? She wears a cap. Take a look at my cap. Do you know what this says? Let's look closely. So she has a uniform, a cap, and she carries letters around with her. Whose job is that? Who's that person that delivers your mail? She's a mail carrier. Can you say mail carrier? So the mail carrier is the man or the woman who comes to your house in a mail truck and they deliver your mail. What might you get in the mail? You might get a birthday letter, a message, a thank you card, an invitation. There's all sorts of different things that we get in the mail. Milk pail and a straw hat, overalls in blue, plaid shirt, bandana. What job does she do? This one's a little tricky. Can you guess what community helper needs all of these things? He is a farmer. What does a farmer do? Take a look at the picture. A farmer grows fruits and vegetables. Oven mitts, an apron, recipe for stew, puffy hat and whisk. What job does he do? What community helper wears this puffy hat, an apron, needs oven mitts, and has a whisk? He's a chef. What does a chef do? A chef cooks and they, where do they work? In a kitchen, take a look at him. Smock, a barrette and brushes, paint of every hue, canvas and easel. What job does he do? What community helper do you think this is? He is an artist. Can you say artist? Are you an artist? I know all of my Bumblebee friends are beautiful artists. Tool belt, work gloves, and glue, safety glasses, saw. What job does she do? Take a guess. What job do you think this is? She is a carpenter. Can you say carpenter? What is she doing? Do you think she's building? I think she's building because I see a saw in her hand and she has wood. What do you think she's building? Heavy pants, a helmet, wide suspenders too, rescue coat, long hose. What job? does she do? What job is this, Bumblebees? We learned about this this week. A, say it with me, 
She is a firefighter. What is she using in her hand? A really long hose with water to put the fire out. Nice guessing, Bumblebees. Spacesuit and jetpack, star charts to review, flight gloves, and moon boots. What job does she do? Who wears this kind of uniform? She is an astronaut. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs right for you? The end. Did you enjoy the story, Bumblebees? This is one of my favorites because it's kind of like a little game. Now I have a surprise for you. I have some clues for you in a mystery bag. So I'm going to get my bag and I'm going to pull out some mystery items. Are you ready for a game? Touch your head if you're ready to play a game. Touch your nose if you're ready to play a game. Wiggle your phalanges if you're ready to play a game. Okay, so we're going to do a guessing game. I'm going to put on something that this community helper wears. And I want you to take a guess as to what community helper I am dressing up as. Okay? So let's begin. I'm going to show you an item. Are you ready? Okay, close your eyes and count to three. And when we say three, you could open your eyes. One, two, three. What do I have on my neck? What is this? This is called a stethoscope. Can you say that? That's a big word. Who uses this? What kind of community helper? A doctor and a nurse. What do they use this for? To check your heart. So if you go to the doctor, they might put it over your heart and then this goes inside your ears so that they can listen to your heartbeat. Nice job, bumblebees. Now, I have two more items to show you. Here is the first one. Okay, let's see. This is called a uniform. Can you say uniform? A uniform is something that a community helper wears so that way you can identify who they are. So take a look at my uniform. What do you see is on my uniform? We'll just take a look at the top and then I'll show you the bottom. Do you know what this is? This is called a badge. Can you say badge? What is a badge? A badge is something a police officer wears that helps you identify or know that he is a police officer. It will say his name and it will have a badge number on it. So that way you know he is a real police officer. So next time you see a police officer, you could ask them, can I see your badge? And they will show you their badge with their name on it. And that is how you know they are a police officer. I have a question for you. What is this? This is a phone. Now I have a really, really important question for you, Bumblebees. If there was ever an emergency, who would you call if something went wrong? Who do you call in case of an emergency? We dial 911. Can you practice saying that with me? Can you put your finger up and pretend like you're dialing on the phone with me? Okay, let's start. You ready? Nine, one, one. Can you say it with me? Nine, one, one. And when do we call 911? Only when there is an emergency, if you feel unsafe. So, Bumblebees, if I lost my favorite stuffed animal, should I call 911? No way, because that's not an emergency, right? We might be a little frustrated or upset, but it's not an emergency. 911 is really important only when you feel unsafe and there's an emergency. Nice job, Bumblebees. And I have our last little item here. This is a police officer's hat. See how it has his badge and it says police. Nice job, Bumblebees. Did you enjoy our game today? I hope so. Now I have a question for you. Last but not least, are you ready for my question? <laughs> touch your head, touch your shoulders, touch your nose. What community helper do you want to be when you grow up? You could comment down below, you could send me a video or a picture. What community helper do you want to be when you grow up? I can't wait to hear. Bye, Bumblebees.